closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe, look towards the future. 37, it's time. are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there.
47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al-Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the center. Welcome! Welcome. Oh, good to see you. How lovely to see so many familiar, familiar faces here today. This has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am from one of the less privileged sides of the respectable al family. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy of the great al Ghazali legacy. So, I would like to thank Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Says everyone working triple shifts. There's so much going on here. I've had four staff update meetings already. And now that crazy manager called us into another meeting. So now we've got to memorize new lists of guest names, new passwords. Yeah.
I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Sheikh Al-Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. that he used to work for that Dawood Rangan? You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> nope, it doesn't.
Look, this is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my box. Jesus. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? You're choking the life out of that person. Listen now. Ah! Ooh! I was wondering if you could help me. Upstairs, that is, the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali's private penthouse. Correct. I heard rumors he has some guests of some significance. Now, look, I understand he probably signed an NDA. Right there. That's Marcus Stuyvesant, Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. Yes, so am I. Stay safe. And remember who your friends are. I hope your talk with your daughter gives you some closure. And you remember I've done you more than just one favor. I will. Nice day for it, isn't it? Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. They'll be... Here shortly. Mumbai. I heard that was a shit storm. Okay, you must be my new Seriously? escort. Seriously? Get out of my face. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you?
Okay. Let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24 7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course. We check, sir. I always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now what is his business here? Think about it, and come back if you want. I'll be waiting up there's an Reception. Understood. Twisted. I was a big white. 
waste of time. Crystal don't want the Abbey. <coughs> Excuse me. Please extinguish <coughs> that cigarette. You are blowing <coughs> cancer directly into my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I'm just asking nicely. No, you were being a bitch. Go away. Chance. Come in, come on, Suspects have coffee, over. Here. We've got a strangler on the loose. He's in disguise. Please, you need to leave now. Come on, how do you read me, over? It's best that you vacate this area. Please leave in an orderly fashion. Okay, understood. Nothing here, Command. Moving on. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. And make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. What's up? Thank you. Looking good, man. Looking good. Have a seat, Mr. Kazim. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which 
which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good. Man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. You're not on the list. Please step back, sir. This is quite the ceremony. I was thinking, upstairs, as I understand, it's the Royal Highness's private penthouse. <laughs> it must be quite the view up there. Do you think you could get me access to that? I mean, it would really make my day. I can't help you. Talk to security or contact HR. What happens upstairs is none of my business. Okay. Thanks. Mr. Lowe, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Yes, 
guess that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Looking good today, sir. Hey, buddy, this area is off limits. Smart move. Sorry, I just need to do a quick search if you want to get through. Just routine. Hey, how you doing? If you want to pass, you need to comply to a free... Oh. Sir, you can't leave that here. Greetings, sir. Greetings, sir.
Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture. Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. Just keep calm. I apologize about the incident earlier downstairs, but you have to understand that we need to keep security tight. No matter who, all our guests go through the same procedure. Looking good, man. Looking good. I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Mr. Ingram is expecting... No need to panic. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Oh, sorry. We have Excuse Ingram right where we want him. Yeah, I just remembered something. 47, you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. Gotham 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Oh, Mr. Kazem. Is Mr. Kazem? You need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get tired. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. 
we underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough.